Ooh, pretty. Man, if only I had the waterfall HM, this would be great. This place looks cool, actually. What kind of crazy Pokemon live down here? And now I'm back here again. <laughs> I think I might I might have died once or twice there. Ah, uh, gee, uh, what's wrong? Gaius. It's okay, see ya, man. I didn't need your help anyways. It chose to go back into its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. You got any sandwiches? Wait a second, where's the student council girl? Did we really just lose somebody? Wait, wasn't she in between Penny and Arvin? How did she get lost? She's oh catch a Pokemon, isn't it? Yeah, okay, there she is. Area Zero is amazing. Come on already, let's get going. I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Biometric indeficate in in de Why do I I can't I read? Biometric Indification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. <laughs> it's like we're all like dying on the ground. Limbs are all snapped, but we're still breathing. Condition satisfactory. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I mean, we're technically in one piece. I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available access of method. Uh, wait, access? Method of access? I think your mom's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Aww. You, you were worried about us? That's so sweet. You should now make your way to meet me at Area Zero Lab. Or at Zero Lab. In the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance of the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which cannot be unlocked. Though that's kind of dumb. Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Well, okay. You will be able to disable one of the locks... Do as you make your way down. Or do as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. What happens if we don't succeed? Do we die? Yes! Let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Okay, something seems fishy. Is she locked in there and just needs us to get her out? Or like, what's going on here? Sounds kind of video gamey when you say... <laughs> if only. If only it were a video game, right? Come on. Time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. There's a Raichu, a Medichimp. I thought they were like... So we can't use Rhydon, or Rhydon. Is Rhydon even in the game? Giraffe rig. I really want to shunt. Why is that Pommy inside of that, in between that Medichimp's thighs? Okay, I mean, thick sides do save lives, but I don't know if I don't... Whoa, look at this tree. Is this ice? I was expecting it to be like... Those Paradox Pokemon. Wait, is this ice? This looks cool. Jump Pluff. I do love me some Jump Pluff. Venomoth. A mint. Nah, never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna say them, but you know what? I think I said enough stupid stuff for one. Can't go out there yet? Wait, why can he run so easily out here and I can't? Hey, Golduck, fuck off, why don't you? What level are these things? 52, that's it? Okay, I'm gonna just kill you really quickly. He's faster than me? I mean, I guess he is in water and we're stuck using a floaty. Wait, Giraffe Rig is taller than the water. Why would he need this? In fact, why do... Is this Tristan? I wasn't paying attention. What did he say? No, never mind. Oh yeah. What were they called? Rate radish towers? Research stations. Well, Ike was close. Radish? Well, you have such a great memory, Penny. Research station? What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Ooh, I haven't seen one of these yet. That's a Pokemon that Prima uses. 
I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Wait, why though? Why would we need to do that? Are we double battling this thing? Why are we double battling it? I don't understand. Is it like level 100? Does that mean I can't catch it? Dude, why did why am I even here? You blew plenty cake. Wait, toxic debris? This thing sets up toxic spikes when it gets hit. That's actually pretty cool. Are there gonna be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here? You think? You think that was something? Please, you've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. Dude, why is she so fast? In we go. Whoa, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way, as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. 87 years ago? So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. If you would be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using the central panel. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Why is he, like, acting so... What's going on, Arvin? You acting like there's something fishy. I wonder if my mom ever worked here. Wait, what's that other thing? Is that a teleportation device? I guess... Probably once you find another one, you can probably teleport back and forth, maybe? Low kicks. Oh, is it time for backstory reveal? Phew. Let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. What is this thing? Hey, look, a Jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice, familiar Pokemon down here. Um, we've seen a bunch already. Oh. Oh my gosh, so cute. Um, I don't know if you should go near that thing. Poo. Rah! What the? Ah! Run! It's battle time. Can I catch this? Rah! I'm gonna battle alongside Penny. That means we probably can't catch it, right? Can I? No, that's unfortunate. Use overheat. You took that like a champ. Why can't I see what's going on? That's a weird looking tail. I don't know if I like that too much. I mean, it's not rubbish, it's just... It doesn't change a whole lot. Does he evolve? Okay, that's gonna get really annoying. That is actually gonna get really annoying. This thing have, like, boosted stats? Why is he so hard to kill? Probably because, uh... Dinky do over there is using dark type. Oh, it's not fairy type anymore. Okay, maybe that's okay. I thought it was fairy type, so. Baby doll, let's just finish it before it wakes up and rests again, you idiot. Baby doll eyes, are you kidding me right now? 
Wait, he just opened his eyes. He's not sleeping. Screamtail. That's his name? Scream I just realized his name is actually Screamtail. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that, and I'm done for. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon? I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon is one of these. What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. Is that a Dawn fan? What is that thing? As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat in time. A member of the survey team captured this photo, photographed by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet different such as its sheer size and shape of its back, set it apart as do its great tusks. So they aren't actual Pokemon. I don't really know. Yeah, it doesn't really does it really matter? For an explanation. Oh, here we go. Professor. Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past, long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh come on. There's no possible way. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. It summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. Do you think my mom spent forever researching down here? She actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? You mean you actually can travel to and from the past? <laughs> However, for being such a he- For being- <clears throat> Forever, however, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you. Why'd you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I. If possible, I'd like to, us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Joshua, please use the central container and disable the locks. Yeah, okay. Why is there only one bed? Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's going, it's something to do with this place, or more like everything to do with this place. I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. It's the Scarlet Book. The Scarlet Book. Hey, that's the name of the game. Okay, let's go, gang. What are your parents like, pneumonia? My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. Wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that. He's famous. And I guess I looked into him for my own reasons, too. Oh. Someone has a little bit of a crush. So, Nimon is actually some pampered little princess from a rich family? Ugh. No way. That's so not my thing. Though, yeah. I guess you could say mother and father were like, hands off, but in a good way? Probably take over the business. So, that pretty much left me to do what I wanted. 
Wait, you call your mother? You call them mother and father? That is some pampered little princess stuff right there. Yeah, Calate. Penny, what is your family super normal? And my family is unbelievably annoying. Like super protective, you mean? Just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes up weird nicknames for me, like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. Man, that's a real downer for your dad having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his side. <laughs> How are there just stuff down here? I wish I could have seen that. I bet it tasted great. What? I don't know what, this, what he was talking about. Mild mint. This mint is pretty mild. Are we gonna have to battle a paradox Pokemon at every single station now? Everything the next two. Do you think? Let's put you up front. Why are there giraffe rigs down here? How did they even get down here? Like, the flying Pokemon makes sense. Gold Ducks, I mean, they're waterfalls. They probably just swam down. How did the giraffe rigs get down here? What, they just jump? Can they levitate using Psychic? Oh! Giraffe! I don't know what, he's, what his name is, but... Yeah, that. Alright, another research station. Nice. You get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. Heh. <laughs> oh, Penny. Such a worry wart. Huh? We found one of these before. See? See? Why are we scared? I feel like I should get to pick my reaction. Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was an Asian Pokemon all along. Whoa, you battled one of these before? Arvin, it looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Joshua and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. What is this thing? What type is this? I don't know. He's probably ground still. He could be rock. Really? Masters this has uh, I guess maybe, okay. Icicle crash will one shot for sure. What did you just use on him? Well that was easy. Can't wait to catch one of those guys. See that? Victory's ours! Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came from down here. You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our crater get together? Jealous! Uh, and we've got things from little ancient times roaming around Padea. That's a major problem. Isn't Professor Sada doing some, anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like, oh, so brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Joshua. Let's get into that research station. How are we doing after all? The walking, battling, whatnot. Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? Hmm? Oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the prof professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Era Zero came to our time from the past, right? So what about Coridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokemon? Sure, you're right. Then maybe. Why is there an Ultra Ball? Why do I keep finding like Ultra Balls and stuff on the floor randomly? I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving off ancient vibes. Even its name sounds pasty. Wait a sec. 
I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin! You had Crown's Ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? You still remember that from way back then? No wonder you're everyone's star little pupil. I guess I've got no choice, then, but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon crying on it, that is. It was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it'd be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor, Coridon, which I entrusted to Joshua, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously? Through, analyze, through analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of Cyclozar, the Pokemon still commonly written in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look a lot alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Coridon. You mean, there's another one around here somewhere? Wait, if they're family, the other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with our Coridon. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed, Joshua, please, disable the next lock using the central panel there. Something seems fishy, though. Something seems fishy. Something seems wrong with this picture here. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue on the final research station. Is she evil? Or is she luring us to our death to, like, capture Coridon from us or something? I guess we go into this uh, cave. No wonder no one's seen it before. Oh right. That was the first I heard of it coming from the past myself. It was just some weird Pokemon my mom brought home all of a sudden one day. She just brought home this weird looking dog thing. Hey, what is this thing? Can I catch this? Oh, you got one of these birds down here. Oh, <gasps> Screamtail. Zulius. Can I catch this one? We have to wait until like, I get a special poke while like beast balls or something. Oh, <gasps> we can catch Screamtails? Nice. Didn't even have to do nothing. Screamtail was caught. Are they gonna like say anything about me catching that? What does a Pokedex have to say about this thing? There has been only one reported sighting of this Pokemon. It resembles a mysterious creature depicted in an old expedition journal. Who wrote this? Who wrote this caption? How do we know its weight and height? I mean, obviously we can measure it, but like we haven't yet. I just hated cried on everything about it. Didn't want to even talk about it. Uh, I guess we're going down here. Hey, should, uh... You should be sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. You tell him, Ammonia. Whoa, it's like the lost city of Atlantis. Oh my gosh, look at all these huge, gorgeous, gorgeous crystals. They all go all the way from the bottom. Ooh, those are probably worth a lot of money. We should steal a couple. Is it really stealing though? I mean, it's not like the only one own them. One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Oh, good call, watch your step. So the professor's down there somewhere. Wait, the professor, you mean your mom? And that's fine, totally fine. All right, team, watch yourself, and let's get to the bottom of this thing. <laughs> like, figuratively and literally. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here, like the stories say. Yeah, this place like something from a whole other world. It makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. What? Did somebody die? Did Arvin die, and then Sada brought him back? This is like a past version of him, and that's like the whole mystery. 
That's why he's like still resentful. She just kind of popped him out of his life and brought him here. He keeps mentioning that. Oh, look, it's one of these guys. Garchomp, Gibble, goodbye. Already got you guys. Ooh, that looks actually really cool. That's that Flamora Pokemon, I'm assuming. <gasps> Head Rock deep underground. The nest can reach lengths of six miles. Oh, man. Six miles? Two segment form. Different forms of this guy? Oh, well, look at that. I guess I didn't get a choice. Flutter Mane. He has spikes on his head. This looks cool, actually. I think I prefer this. I'll be enough over Miss Magius. I, don't, I like Miss Dreamers better than Miss Magius, so. Hmm, so. he got out. He's still fire. Well, that didn't do anything. Actually, wait, no, that did. So, their special attack. Uh, let's do Ice Go Crash. This shouldn't kill. Actually, it won't kill because we're dead. Okay, who will not be able to kill? You might be able to. You resist. I mean, you don't resist. You are immune to his stab. And you hit him back with super effective damage. Heh, <laughs> what an idiot. Flutter main using ghost type attack on a normal type? Get out of town. I hope this doesn't kill. That took that like an absolute unit. Perfect! Fluttermane. Fluttermane. These have really weird and crazy names. This Pokemon has characteristic characteristics similar to those of Fluttermane. Fluttermane. A creature mentioned in a certain book. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh, still can't ride him. Okay. Then it lived here a while with the professor, along with another one of its kind. Jigglypuff. That seems to be it. You know, so we brought it back home, kind of. Or its second home, I guess. I guess this place should be familiar to it. Sure. Oh, that's great. A chance to unwind and bask in the familiarity. That doesn't exactly jib with how it's been acting all spooked. Huh? Who said it was scared of heights? <laughs> I wonder who. Given how Coridon was acting early, I think something bad happened to it here. Sometimes you get all shaky just seeing a place that you've got bad memories of. It was the same for me when I was being ignored by everyone in my class. Just thinking about school made me want to hide away, so I know how it feels. Aw, Penny. So maybe you got down here in Area Zero, just like Mastabist. We can't for sure, we can't know for sure, but it doesn't change, why do they talk so fast? But that's so sad, we gotta do something to make it feel better. And no, I'm not just saying that because I super badly want to battle crowd of myself. Well, at least you said it and not one of us. Uh, I'm actually gonna save, can I not save? Oh, it's saving automatically, but we'll save again. And then I'm gonna go ahead 